In this video, we'll discuss setting up a movie track and using it to export a walkthrough of a new home. Before we export a video, we need to create a movie track to let the program know the correct path of movement, as well as the perspectives from which we wish to display our interior. Although this can be done from start to finish, both in 2D and 3D, it's best to set up the original path in 2D and then use the 3D view to fine-tune our views. So let's get started by clicking the Movie button in the toolbar. Then, let's jump to our floor plan and click and hold on the point where we want our track to start and drag the cursor to aim our camera. So let's go through it and then add the rest. To create the last camera and end our movie track, we just double-click on the end point. Know that if you need to add a new camera later on, we can do that by clicking an existing one and choosing to add it before or after in the context menu. Another thing we need to do in 2D is to adjust our trajectory. We can do that using the handles located next to each camera. So let's switch over to the 3D view. In 3D, we need to open the camera's properties tab at the inspector and expand the list of cameras in a movie track. When we click on any camera in the list, our perspective changes. So by using the 3D walk-around controls, or the corresponding shortcuts, we can change the view, angle, and position of our camera. Do that for each camera of your movie track, but don't forget to glance back at the 2D view when you're done, because the path of trajectory may change when editing in 3D. So once we've tuned everything up, we're ready to record a movie. To do that, we need to select the movie track in the inspector and click Record Movie. In the Export dialog, we can type in the name, select a destination, set a resolution, and frames per second. When the program gets right to it, we recommend to check the video before exporting in HD. It will give you an opportunity to double check to see that you're satisfied with the trajectory and all the views. So this is the final result. Looks pretty good to me. Exporting 3D walkthroughs is just that easy. So why don't you go ahead and close the screencast and get started yourself.